A big hello to you. I hope I found you well. I'm Jenny Coat, welcoming you up here to the loft on Weir Yard. And today we're going to be taking a look through some of the things that have been sent in to the channel, or indeed that I've been out purchasing. And uh, what, what's that, Teddy? Teddy says it's time for Mailbag Monday. But it's not Monday. He says he doesn't care, he can't tell the time. So come with me in association with Trainomatic, makers of DCT decoders and accessories that are designed by enthusiasts for enthusiasts. Find the full range available to order now at tramfabrique.co.uk. Additional support comes from This is Clark Railworks and this is what we do. You'll know us from Ellis Clark Trains and you'll get the same friendly expertise with us too. We've got a huge range of pre-owned model railways from all your favourite manufacturers and maybe some you hadn't heard of before. It's the place to come for quality. We don't stock substandard models and everything we sell is fully tested and photographed by model railway experts. No matter whether you model double O gauge, N, HO or more, we have sought after models from all around the world with new listings added every weekday. Check out what's available now at ClarkRailworks.com and don't miss out on your latest logo. It's so humbling to see some of the items that have been sent in. And also, don't tell the cupboard monkey, but I have been spending far too much money as well. There was a TMC sale on, so I got myself something from that at 50% off RRP. And they've still got loads available, so I will put a link in the description box down below. I also got scanned whilst at Alexandra Palace. No, it wasn't one of those arches like at the airport and they went, I'm sorry, you've got contraband goods here. <laughs> does, does your other half know about these? Uh, nothing like that, but I did get scanned by Model U and they have printed off a little tiny figure of me. And I'm so uh, humbled to be immortalized in plastic. And that is in the Model U range. So you can get your very own Jenny Kirk to uh, uh, shovel coal on your locomotive or maybe just shovel dung on your dung heap. I don't know. I got an idea that actually two of me would make a great little cameo with a hole, one in the hole digging and chucking the soil out and one on the spoil pile just shoveling the soil back in but uh, without further ado let's head on in and see what we got <laughs> The first item that I want to show you today is this Ransoms and Rapier 45 tonne steam breakdown crane. Now these came out a little while ago now from Backman and they're quite expensive but they are functional. There's like a little screw at the back that you screw and the jib goes up and down. Incredible detail on these. And they do come in a lovely huge presentation box and I didn't think I'd ever end up getting one because they're a little bit out of my price bracket at the time. They're actually more expensive than um, pretty much any locomotive on the market. But TMC have uh, got a sale on at the moment and the uh, Southern Railway and the Great Western Railway Grey versions, this is the Southern Railway version, are at 50% off the RRP, which makes them about £125, give or take. And we've got a link in the description box to take you to TMC to find these. At the time of ordering and filming this, uh, there's 10 plus, it's saying on the website, of both the Great Western and the Southern Railway versions. It's a great price. And I'll tell you now, in total certainty, we're never going to see this crane appear at those sort of prices ever again. If it does get another run from Backman, you can bet your boots that this will be pushing the £300 plus mark. So just fill your boots now whilst they are available at this amazing price. Now I did purchase this one, uh, Mystery st Shopper style, and uh, I've got catalogue number 38-800, Ransoms and Rapier. Uh, 45 tonne steam crane 1561S Southern Railway Grey but it's quite understated it must be yeah, said and I do love the box actually it's a nice presentation box and it reminds me a little bit of the uh, Hornby Double O breakdown train set um, which came in a box that you lifted off the lid and it really did look something special now uh, just popping out the uh, top there and I'm going to get the uh, wagons out um, so we've got the jib runner the rear match wagon and there's such detail with these and this really does bring back memories of uh, childhood Hornby Double O 
And then we've got the crane itself. Just going to pull that up with uh, what appears to be a demountable funnel. Uh, I think that just flips over and down. So when it's on a work site, it's got the draft, but then that can be flipped back when not in use and the uh, crane is uh, being hauled around. There's a lot of weight to this. It does feel like uh, Backman did think about motorising it, maybe DCC control, but that really would have made it pretty expensive. And we've got two little um, look like manhole covers on the back. These pop off, I believe. These come out quite readily on this one. So let's see, we're going to wind the jib down. And you can see that going down as I uh, rotate it. And I, I think that this is a model that if it does reappear, we're going to be seeing it with uh, fully DCC controlled, maybe even wireless. I, I could imagine this would be a prime candidate for DCC Bluetooth control. And then we've got the other match wagon as well. And then there's also some bits and pieces so we've got some etched nameplates on there and then that's the screw this sort of uh, big cylindrical thing for uh, winding the jib up and down and then we've got some additional bits and pieces a spreading bar uh, which is to so you don't crush things when you uh, lift them up if you've got uh, ropes in a trapeze shape then it can crush the sides in on a vehicle so you use a spreader bar to spread the load out and stop that happening plus the buffer beam detail as well and this is just incredible detail, to be honest with you. And uh, I'm so chuffed to now finally have one of these. Um, and thanks to the TMC sale, as I said before, I mystery shopped this. Uh, they had no idea that it was Muggins here who was buying it, just uh, paid up. The price was incredible. And I thought, you know what, just got to get myself one of these. And if you look there, you can see it's... It's all functional. All of this goes around. It is an incredibly detailed model. So um, I'm looking forward to having a good play with this. Next up, there's a huge box that came in the post this morning. This came from Gordon Aitken. So it was uh, had this little note in to, uh, for the attention of the Weir Yard Marshaller. I think that's me. Plus the Cupboard Monkey. And that's from... Uh, Gordon Aitken, who says, as discussed, please find and close the items I am donating to Weir Yard as a thank you for all the hard work that you and Zoe do to keep us Monday Clubbers entertained. It is extremely appreciated, and I hope that the items donated are to your liking. Many thanks, Gordon Aitken. Well, of course they are, and thank you so much for your generosity. So I'm just going through the big box of bits, and the Cupboard Monkey loves these, the Metcalf uh ready cut uh card kits so we've got the mainline railway station this is a big chunky kit there's a lot here and you can never go wrong with these metcalf kits so thank you so much for that i'll be passing that to the cupboard monkey and she will spend many a happy hour uh, making that Next up, we've got this Hornby 12-wheel uh, LMS dining coach. It's older tooling, but that is still a great coach. And thank you so much for this. Uh, so we've got a catalog number, R4095B. And uh, that's really nice. Pristine condition still in the box. And uh, we've also then got, uh, there's a Lima coach body here. And uh, I'm just going to slide this out. So, oh, actually, it's more than just the body. I thought it was just the body, but it's a, a Lima restaurant car here in um, Southern Region Green. Oh, wow. And yet another coach here. This is uh, it's a restaurant car, but in Western Region, uh, cream and brown. Always a lovely livery. I love this livery. Um, and uh, certainly there we are, a matching set of restaurant cars. Oh, I do like these. These are the Pico LK201 Highland Railway Signal Box. And this is one actually, uh, when they were first released, I built one for Weir Yard. And it's one of my favourite bits of Weir Yard, it has to be said, at the top of the hump. And um, I'm actually, I'm, I'm eyeing this up. I said to the cupboard monkey when I first looked in the box, I went, I'm having that. You're not building that. I'm having that. And that's going to uh, actually replace a, a card kit that I've got of a signal box elsewhere on uh, Weir Yard, which has been 
on the list of things that needed replacing. So um, it's a super quick kit. Um, it's been through two other layouts before it got to Weir Yard, but this will certainly take pride of place. I might even fit it with some lighting as well, actually. Now there's a bunch of wagons in here as well. So we've got a Daypole LMS uh, van here. Uh, the vent van factory weathered. So that's brilliant. There's so much stuff here, it has to be said. So much stuff. And then an older Daypole box. Um, and this is the 12 ton Southern Railway box van. And certainly these are very, very good for if you want to do, say, like a grounded van body in a farmer's yard. These are actually quite um, a, an inexpensive way of doing it because the body moulds on these are really, really quite nice. And then this one really did catch my eye. So there's a Bankman wagon here. This is the Southern Railway 12 ton 2 plus 2 planked van. And it, this is in GWR Green, actually, this. Uh, really did catch my eyes. Well, no, I've been meaning to get one of these. How did you know? I've been meaning to get one of these for a long, long time. Uh, just well, one of those things never quite got round to getting them and then they all disappeared. So thank you so much. It's like you read my mind of what I, I was really, really looking forward to getting for uh, the collection here. So that will take pride of place. In fact, that's going straight on the layout, that is. And then uh, what else have we got in here? There's uh, one of the plastic uh, signal box kits here. This is the Daypole plastic kits. And these are actually quite good to build and do lend themselves to customization and uh, chopping and changing. So one of the things that I've seen these used for is the, um, the low level ground frame type cabins, or indeed I've seen them build them, uh, them built up on legs and you have those signal boxes that straddle tracks on a, a kind of gantry. So that's, that's pretty good that, but that's not everything. Gordon has also sent a DCC fitted locomotive. This is one of the Hornby J52s. Um, it's a model I hadn't really paid much attention to. It had flown under my radar. I'd always had it down as one of those railroady type models. And it's certainly one of the older um, Hornby tooling items. But this is DCC ready. I uh, just need to pop it, that handrail back in. There we go. That's back in place. But actually, it's not too shabby. Um, I quite like this. Um, the, the wheels are, are nicely blackened and uh, I've had it running on the layout and it runs really well. We've got sprung buffers as well and uh, proper darkness down the uh, funnel. We're not getting that sort of plastic um, lump that uh, certainly on older models you used to just get a slight recess and then you'd either see the screw that held the body on or just plain plastic. But that, that's quite nice. The J52 didn't have any of these but certainly I'm quite pleased with that so thank you so so much for your generosity and these will definitely take pride of place up here in Weir Yard. I'd like to thank Bowminick for their incredible generosity in sending this Rapido Train 16XX into the channel and uh, this is certainly a well-traveled model because uh, Bowminick is based in the US so this has actually been bought from the UK, shipped over to the US and then very, very kindly donated to the channel and shipped all the way back. The J70 really is a lovely model. The catalogue number on the end, we've got MR-310B and this is quite an interesting liveried one. This is number 1638 in Dart Valley Green. And this is one of the preserved examples that is at the Dart Valley. And this shows it in the livery that it ran there in. A huge, huge thanks to Bo Menick for very, very generously sending this 16XX into the channel. The items from me rejoining the Batman Collectors Club have arrived and I always rejoin as the 009 member. I must admit, uh, I just really like the 009 wagons. They're much more used to me than the private owner wagons for the 00, although I do buy a lot of the 00 special models. So when you look through my collection, you'll see an awful lot. And this one actually interested me because it comes with a load. The um, Ashover Light Railway isn't really something that I model, um, but uh, certainly the wagons 
with this removable load, this would be, I guess, floor spar, something like that, or limestone. Um, I actually quite like that. There's a good deal of weight to that too. It ballasts the wagon quite nicely. And the beauty of these inserts is that they are easy to transfer to any of the other wagons. So that's going to go straight into my 009 collection. Uh, getting quite a, a collection of these. And there's my official Collectors Club membership. One of the other things that came as well is we get this nice pin badge. I can't believe 25 years. I was trying to think back. I first joined in, I think it was either 2000 or 2001. I think the, um, the, the first Collectors Club wagon that I received was the Derbyshire Paving, I think something like that. I do have it somewhere on the layout. I must uh, try and dig that out at some point. And then I do vividly remember the Marcroft wagons, which for some reason I ended up with two of those, and I'm not quite sure why. Um, so, yeah, really glad to have rejoined the Collectors Club. We've talked a bit about the value for money of various Collectors Clubs. And it has to be said that the Backman one is really useful because when you're at a show like Ali Pally or Warley, where they have a stand, uh, you've got that VIP area, so you can do a bit of time out, uh, just have a little bit of space inside them. And they have um, like biscuits and stuff, so you can get your little energy rush. But more importantly for me, I think the bottles of free water that they give to members stay hydrated because I've seen a lot of people get dehydrated at shows like Warley, like Ali Pali. When the hall gets really, really busy, it gets very, very hot and it is so easy to get yourself dehydrated. So being a Backman Collectors Club member means you just keep popping back there and getting the bottles of water. So well worth that. And that's one of the main reasons that I did remember to rejoin at Ali Pali, even though my membership elapsed maybe a couple of weeks before. The final item that's arrived in the post today is from Model U. Some people might remember I got scanned at Alexandra Palace and it's quite an interesting experience. I'd never really contemplated what it, it, it meant to get scanned in terms of what the process was. Um, but um, they very, very kindly scanned me. I've gone into the main range so you can get my, um, my colossal uh, caboose and uh, slightly porky belly on your layout as well. I'm here um, resplendent with a shovel, actually. They did have props. Um, so you can have me shoveling coal into your locomotive or maybe shoveling dung in your uh, your dung pile in a farmyard. Or, um, as I suggested in the intro, maybe have me digging a hole and then a duplicate me filling the hole back in behind the first me. So these get 3D printed off. Um, they do come with all this uh, framework. This just supported it whilst it was being printed. We'll trim all that away. And again, this is another little project for the cupboard monkey um, to paint up. And I shall call this mini me. So they asked me what size figure I might like, and I chose O-Gage. So this is O-Gage, and it's going to go into one of my O-Gage models. I just think that the O-Gage is uh, really good for showing off the detail. I like that you can see my shoes. Um, I was wearing trainers. I don't normally um, wear a big skirt and trainers, but the thing was that when you're at a show like Ali Pally, um, you don't want to be wearing girly shoes because they've got no support in the soles, and you will get achy feet. And then my trademark stripey top, so uh, you can see that um, I think uh, the cupboard monkey will have great fun trying to replicate my stripey top, or maybe we'll go for something different. But I actually do recognise myself there, so when we look close up, I can see it's me. I shall call you Mini Me. Yes, um, so taking over the world one figure at a time. And these are in the main range at Model U, uh, so we're going to try and find a link. And we'll put that in the description box and you too can have a mini me, uh, that is a mini Jenny, in any scale you want from N gauge up to 1 12th. That's like figurine, that's quite big. Um, so really, really pleased with that and a big thank you to the guys at Model U. And of course, if you see them at shows, then you can get yourself scanned and pretty reasonable price actually for what they're doing. That goes on file and you can just um, order up models of yourself in many, many different scales. 
and uh, certainly a big thank you for that. It was really, really good fun. And whilst I was there, actually, some of the uh, the guys from KR Models got scanned as well. And I know Martin Rees um, has a figure. You can buy a Martin Rees as well and have him doing static grass demos on your layout uh, from War World Scenics. Um, so I just feel quite humbled that I'm in the main range. So uh, there we are. Big, big thank you. Well, I hope you really enjoyed today's video and found it informative as well. And of course, a big, big thank you, especially to Gordon Aitken, who very, very kindly sent over that box of goodies. And some of those were actually really quite interesting. The J52, for example, is certainly something that I hadn't really thought much about. I dismissed it really as a more of a railroady locomotive, but the model that Gordon sent in I was actually quite impressed with and certainly I'm going to find myself now looking around for the J52 in the Great Northern Railway livery which I remember seeing it in because certainly that is definitely on my radar. The TMC Crane as well is over there is definitely one too that um, I've got a link in the description box down below. 50% off RRP. They've got the GWR and the Southern Railway versions, but they ain't going to hang around long at that price. That really is an incredible price if you want yourself a fully functional crane on your model railway. And uh, certainly uh, joining the Batman Collectors Club, I do do it a lot. And one of the things I will say is when you're at Alexandra Palace, when you're at Worley, it's a great just to get access to the VIP area and also to get those bottles of water. Do stay hydrated at shows and Ali Pally and Wally can get very, very warm. And of course, a big, big thank you to Model U as well for making a mini me. Uh, we've got that in our gauge. We're going to be punting that off to the Cupboard Monkey to have a little bit of a painting project on. I look forward to adding that to an O-Gage locomotive. And of course, you can buy Mini-Me in any scale from N right up to 1 12th. That's quite big. That's like kind of Teddy size. Uh, yeah, oh, gee, gosh, wash your mouth out with soap. He says he'll go soggy if that happens. But uh, certainly we've got a link in the description box down below to model you. And you too can pick up your own Mini Me Jenny. And it'd be really interesting to see any uh, poses that you want to send photos in of, of a Mini Me somewhere on your model layout. I'd like to see where I get around to. Probably face first in a dung pile on somebody's layout. But hey, it's it. It's your layout. Do what you want. But until next time, this is me, Jenny Kerr and Teddy saying you take great care of yourself. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Happy modelling. Bye for now. Today's video comes in association with Trainomatic, makers of DCT decoders and accessories that are designed by enthusiasts for enthusiasts. Find the full range available to order now at tramfabrique.co.uk. Additional support is provided by This is Clark Railworks and this is what we do. You'll know us from Ellis Clark Trains and you'll get the same friendly expertise with us too. We've got a huge range of pre-owned model railways from all your favourite manufacturers and maybe some you hadn't heard of before. It's the place to come for quality. We don't stock substandard models and everything we sell is fully tested and photographed by model railway experts. No matter whether you model double O gauge, N, HO or more, we have sought after models from all around the world with new listings added every weekday. Check out what's available now at ClarkRailworks.com and don't miss out on your latest logo. I'd like to send out a huge thanks to everybody who supports me on Patreon, but a special thanks go out to Anthony Kidson, Offshore Allen, Michael Lockie, Helen Sink, Gary Lewis, David Quinn, Sparky107107, George Botterini, Chris Moss, Robert Steers, Sam Yates, Dale Williams, John N. from NC, NYM Arish, Jonathan Foster, Peter, Clifford Ison, Larry W. Grant, NI Railways 4000 Class, Ian Coulson, Alan Dickerson, Eddie Popper, Karen Nicholl, Medwin Williams, Crossways Point Junction, 3B Rail, Jennifer Horton, Michael Rose, Trains with Nick, and Simon Snow. Thank you. Without you guys, I couldn't do this.